Elastic Potential Energy, E equals half times K times E squared by kscience.com. So the formula for calculating the elastic potential energy stored in object is E equals half times K times E squared, where E is the elastic potential energy stored in an object. 0 0.5 represents 0 0.5. K is the spring constant of the object. And E squared is the extension squared, where E is the extension. The unit for the elastic potential energy stored in object is joules. There is no unit for 0 0.5. The unit for spring constant is newtons per meter. And the unit for extension is meters. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So this is an unstretched spring with no energy in its elastic potential energy store. The spring constant K for this spring is 20 newtons per meter. And the unstretched spring is five centimeters in length. The spring is stretched to a final length of 10 centimeters. But we don't want to use the 10 centimeter number. We need to figure out the extension of the spring for E. So how do you calculate the extension E for the spring? Well, that's 10 centimeters, the final length after it being stretched, minus five centimeters, which is the initial length of the unstretched spring. So in this example, E equals five centimeters. E equals five centimeters. But we don't want to calculate the elastic potential energy using centimeters. We need to convert centimeters into meters. So the extension is needed in meters. So E equals 5 centimetres divided by 100. That will give you the answer for the extension in metres, which is 0 0.05 metres. So we've got the spring constant K, we've got the extension. We can now calculate the elastic potential energy stored in the spring. So E equals 0 0.5 times by K. K is 20 newtons per metre. So it's 0 0.5 times 20. Multiply this by 0 0.05 squared. Multiply this by 0 0.05 squared. So the elastic potential energy stored in this spring is 0 0.025 joules. 0 0.025 joules. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.